Hi everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Rubber Stamp Tapestry and for today's design, te design team project I am going to use the Tropical Garden Peg Stamp Set. So I fell in love with that image. That image, I just fell in love with the colors. So kind of going to use the same. Now remember with your peg stamps, this is a four peg stamp set. Remember, there's a registry line, and that tells you how it's going to look if that line is facing you, what that stamp image is going to look like when you put it down on paper. I have three pieces of cardstock um, cut to the width of two and a half by two and a half, and I've used some repositional tape underneath for my scratch pad here. I'm just going to go to town now and have fun stamping. I am using my Memento Dewdrops. And I'm going to use the colors of London Fog and Gray Flannel here for the background. I want it to be really bright, um, or I want this, I'm sorry, I want this to be toned down. So I want these leaves and the smallest flower to be in the background. So I'm going to use the two grays. Now, I love doing things in black and white, um, whether it's through colored pencils or stamping or watercoloring or anything like that, and then just adding these pops of color. So here comes Lilac Posies, Danube Blue, Dandelion, and Grape Jelly. So these are some pretty, pretty bright colors. And I'm using these colors for the largest flower. And I'm just going to fill in with that larger image. Now, usually you start with the largest image first, and then you fill in with the smaller ones. That's usually, you know, how I work. I learned that from Lindsay, the frugal crafter, when she uses these. Um, and it does work. Looks great. Um, I just, I wanted to do the reverse. I wanted to get the gray colors down first so that I had an idea of where these bright colors were going to go. So I started out with each of the colors. Now I'm going to come back in with more. There's some areas that I just want to fill in um, just a little bit. And I'm going to use the tuxedo black, you know, the, the main, or I'm sorry, I'm using my Simon Says. And why? Because I couldn't find my tuxedo black memento. Just saying. Um, I'm using their intense black. And this is the very thin vine that's going to go through these. And I'm just going to fill in those white areas. I'm not going to go crazy with it though, because I don't have enough color on these panels. I wanted more color. So I will come back in and add even more um, to these. So it's kind of a monochrome card, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> Um, but I did enjoy just having those pops of color um, coming in. So now I'm just looking at, okay, you know what? I'm going to have these go off the panels because that was off on me too. They were all in the center. They weren't coming off of the card. The grays were and the black, but they were not. So now I'm going to lift them off. Now that we're done stamping, we're going to lift them off of the um, scratch pad that I have there, clean off the tape on the back, and I'm going to use my art glitter glue to glue these down onto my black mats. Now these were cut two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I'm going to have three large squares that are going to sit on the front of my card panel. And I will put these, um, panels directly onto my standard A2 size card base, which will be four and a quarter by five and a half. And this will be a top folding. So I'm kind of creating a design with these three panels. So I'm going to put one in the upper left hand corner. The other one's going to go down in the bottom right hand corner. They are going to cross over just a little bit. They're not going to cross over each other. And then this final one I'm going to put as a diamond. Um, which will help that to stand out um, as a separate image. If I put it the same way that the others were sitting, it may have gotten lost. Even though there was a mat, um, you may not have seen it as well. Use some double-sided um, foam tape to prop that up. 
added a small sentiment um, that says happy birthday. It's one of those teeny tiny sentiments from Simon Says Stamp. And there is our quick birthday card. So I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope you enjoyed today's project using the Tropical Garden Peg Stamp Set by Rubber Stamp Tapestry. As always, products used will be linked down below in the video description. And by all means, if you have a question, leave that down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, everybody, continue to enjoy your day. Always smile. Um, it's what we have to do. That'll help us get through. Continue to stay safe and healthy. And by all means, no matter what we do, always be creative. Till next time, guys.